This time on Weekend Rental, Neosense, Diamond Time, and myself, Filter, are reviewing Crawl. This multiplayer party game pits one player against the other three as they fight their way through a dungeon and try to reclaim their humanity. Other players control haunting specters who possess traps and summon monsters to ultimately defeat the main player and become human once again. Before we give our verdict, here are some snippets from our first play session. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, cinematic. Them, it them to its will. Oh, and then we fight. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> oh, nice. I've really seen that. Somewhere from deep, that creature must be laughing. Okay, here we go. Fucking gnome. <laughs> uh, I like the gnome a lot. Yeah, I got you in my little trap. But yeah, the gnome is great. <laughs> uh, I'm getting fucked up. <laughs> yeah, guys, it crushed up. Nice. Oh, it looks like I got him. All right, whatever. Okay. I'm, I'm a natural guy. Well, not for long. Punk. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> Barrel. <laughs> Barrel throwing is very fun. <laughs> uh, that takes you to the store, right? Yeah, I, I think so. <laughs> okay. 38 gold, so you guys can just go collect ectoplasm and I get to mull over what weapons I want. Oh, sick. Sometimes when you're a ghost, you forget that you're a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. The ghosts don't know that they're ghosts. Oh wow, Ooh, I'm, I'm in for it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking throw a bone. Yes, the bone got you. <laughs> yeah, I got him. <laughs> oh, the, the little guy, he can uh, oh, trap on the ground a little. Like cool. Although it's hard when there's two of them to know which yeah. you are. Yeah, huh? it sometimes blinks with the color. I think. Mine blinked green once. Never Damn, happened. Yeah. Getting destroyed by these slug boys. I like oh. these little gnomes. Oh, the gnome is very cool. Yeah, I, I like him a lot. Oh, I think I hit you with a <laughs> with a barrel. <laughs> oh, shit. You got fucking gnome trap. Yeah, don't forget to pick up ectoplasm. Yep. Nice. Oh, I should have gone to the store. Okay. Okay, I got some good wrath going here. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm furious right now. I'm <laughs> low on wrath. Oh, I didn't even get this shit. All right, all right. Causes vomiting. Oof. Uh, comes alive when you are poisoned to heal your wounds. That's good. Nice. Okay, so this is the, like, real roguelike bit. Yeah, yeah. The spells, like, give you different specials. Oh, word, yeah. I'd Very totally, cool. totally skip that part, but, uh... Ooh. Oh my god. We're all stronger monsters now. Yeah. <laughs> I stuck him in the thing. Get him, guys! <laughs> Pretty effective. Uh, oh, and he threw up. <laughs> oh, I do. Do you regret your choice? Well, only a little. The, the claymore is cool. Now, though. Oh, the axe does do area damage. I see. Woo, watch out. That guy's scary. It's <laughs> a couple of blobs trying to, <laughs> trying to get back. <laughs> It is fun to get just totally splatted as a blob. It's very fun, yeah. Just, just to stand there and watch your whole life just 
get decimated. Because you freeze when you shoot, right? Yeah, you, you, yeah, and you shoot like three shots or something, and you can't do anything uh -huh. while it's happening. <laughs> so you're pretty much like, you're gonna get, unless someone's just paying you no mind, you're gonna mm -hmm. get blasted. That seemed good, because I was throwing up like nobody's business over there. Oh yeah, because I was the spider and I made you puke, which is what spiders so do when much. you're... Yeah, I always throw up immediately. What's this? Uh, this is a nothing room. Yeah, don't hang out in here. You'll have to kill all our blobs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, blobs! It's okay, this is this is uh, his chance to grind. Splat. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I got it. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, traps. Oh, a beholder? Crap. You know what that's called? I believe so. No Andy one's monster. controlling that. Really? You can possess oh, it. Yeah. Oh, Ian's controlling it. Cool. <laughs> yeah, hit you with that chair. <laughs> oh, wow, already? Yeah, you see yeah. the uh, shot. Okay, this skeleton needs some help. This guy needs to. I like how fast paced the leveling up is. It's just like, alright, quickly make your choices and move on. Come on, fish man. <laughs> Ooh. I die? Oh man. Oh man. Yeah, okay. Oh, blob. Nice with the, uh... Oh, I have to pick up. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the store. Get all these. Ooh, Ooh I don't have very much gold. Halberd. Halberd, Halberd. Yeah, I think the Halberd. You like it? Halberd and agility is a good combo. Oh, whatever skeleton is getting me. Oh, I almost had you. Come on, three blobs should be able to do it easy. Yes! Oh, you got blob! <laughs> that was really good, dude. Blob death. Nice. Oh, I could oh, try. You fight the boss? Oh, I wanted that portal to get to the shop. I think I need a trip to the shop before I'm ready yeah. for that. Oh, I see how the map works. It tells you which direction. Right. I right. If you found it. Yes. Oh, only if it's been discovered. Cool. Yeah, otherwise it's just a question mark. Nah. Yeah, I'm gonna... uh. <laughs> yeah, let's blob the shit out of him. Good idea, good idea. Gotta use my bullet hell skills. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which you real. actually have. We're <laughs> <laughs> gonna do it. Alright, alright, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Who's this guy? Uh, he's like a cultist a or something. Okay. He's the boss? He's no, the he boss. summons the boss. Oh, uh, yeah. okay. He's and like... he heals you. Yeah. Alright, who we got? Is this that dragon? Seraphurst <laughs> type? Oh. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's three heads because each of you can be a head. Oh, I like that so much. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm acid head. I'm just puking like a big group blob out. The weakest head is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true that. I might actually hit it. Wow, you're gonna you're gonna win, Philip. No, 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 no. Uh, is there another? Is there a true last boss here? No, you have to kill the heads. Oh god. Yeah. I forgot about that. All right. 
just gotta blob them. <laughs> and I get a blob. Yeah, it's <laughs> I just got there to thinking that. About putting, dropping a blob on him. If I kill the boss and a blob kills me. <laughs> that. Very. Oh, that raging. That axe is it. a huge damage dealer. I think okay. they rebalanced the game because I don't remember it being that quick and easy. Yeah, to get yeah. it done in 25 minutes or so. The last time I played yeah, it's been time. like five years. Yeah. New <laughs> evolution unlocked. I guess the idea is just to rush through a bunch of times and get all this stuff. We played two more sessions before giving our verdicts on Crawl. This go round, we start with Dime on Time. So, Crawl. Um, this was a fun one. I, I had played this before in the past, um, but I could never really get anybody together to play it with, so... Um, you know, I, this has always been in the back of my mind as something that I would like to play, um, but sort of fell into the background for that reason, that I, I didn't quite have the full experience together the first time I played it. Um, that being said, now that I've played it with a couple of people, um, a whole lot of fun. It was fun kind of deciding, uh, or getting to the point where you realized how many players is ideal, um, and once you start to realize how to best utilize the different rooms, um, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. One thing I would say is that um, I had a couple of challenging situations come about as far as control went. Um, sometimes, you know, it seems like the whole point of the game as the, uh, as the antagonist is to get to the point where you're back to being a hero again. But a lot of times when I found myself in that situation, I would just rather be playing as my favorite monster anyways. Um, uh, but all, overall, like the setting and everything, I found to be very imaginative and like not overwhelming. But at the same time, uh, you know, they gave us just enough to really put us into a nice setting. The voice acting was a lot of fun. Um, the look... You know, the, the pixelated thing, I'm kind of, uh, I've, I've seen it a lot of times, but I don't really know how else this game would look. Um, so I, I think that that was pretty well executed, um, and they certainly had their own flavor to it. Uh, overall, I think I would give this game a 4 out of 5, or 4.5 out of 5. Um, I, I'd hate to sound like a broken record giving that review multiple times, but it really did, did fit for this one. Uh... Filter, what do you think? Yeah, honestly, 4.5 fit this one for me too. Um, but I, I think what really sticks out to me about this one is that it's got a very unique um, dynamic to a multiplayer game. The, the back and forth, like tug of war between monsters and humans, like you know, trying to be a human, but then oh, you're a human, and the the whole world's pitted against me. Um, and it's it's hard to be a human uh, is really interesting and not a lot of games do that uh, so I think you know this game stands out just for doing that and being unique in that way uh, multiplayer can get chaotic with four four people uh, I think three really is the right number as, as we were kind of seeing there um, but four it you know it manages four um, and it does the games don't go on too long but um, it's, it's much less of an even match with four people. The uh, arcade presentation and music and uh, just the way it plays uh, all really hit well with me. Um, that's the kind of game I like. But I think they did it right with the, the pixel art on this one. Um, it's, you know, they were big chunky pixels. They weren't very detailed, so it's a bit easier to read. Although, you know, there are so many things overlapping and happening at the same, happening at the same time that you know uh, it could only be so readable when there's so much going on. Yeah, and the music it's kind of maddening. It quickens its pace. It's good, but it's also irritating. Um, so I like that about it. Uh, it. It fits the game. It fits what's going on. Um, it's not something I'd put on um, outside of the game, but it fits it really well. So what do you think, Neosense? Yeah, so I'm going to have to give a slightly lower score than my um, weekend renters. 
Uh, although I do think that this game shines as a true ghosting simulator. Well, the real feature to me, what, what makes this stick out, as you both have mentioned it being um, ingenuitive and, and new, is the fact that you it understands how incredible it is to antagonize your friends while you're playing a multiplayer game with them. And it gives you all these clever ways in which to do that. Um, I also think that the game works as a multiplayer, uh, like in lots of subtle ways but it becomes really chaotic when there's four players. I think the the um, the rooms are a little too small for everything to fit in there with four players. Uh, when we lowered the number down to three, it became a lot easier. And, uh, you know, so that's where the graphics took a small hit for me and the control as well. I, I frequently forgot where I was um, and it was a little too frantic for me. The sound is good. The game is incredibly fun. And, you know, what really gets, what was really exciting for me was after a couple sessions, I understood that there was a, a, a separate layer of strategy beneath the regular game uh, once players started to work together. Um, I think there's a lot here and that this game can go further. I gave the challenge an adjustable plus because although it is um, based on the, the, the strength of your opponents, the game is designed to make you it's it's pitted against you. You as the as the single um, protagonist are weaker than the world around you. But yeah, it's super fun game and I've never had so much fun being a ghost.